goodbye. I'm gonna tighten this thing. I put just too much water. I might make it. Got a moment of quietness. Last night, I did not sleep very well, unfortunately. I was so comfortable. Like the temperature was perfect. I had two sleeping bags on, I was nice and warm, but it was so windy. So the sound of that really kind of kept me up. Today, I'm gonna show you everything that I packed to eat and cook here at camp. I think we're gonna go hiking, just enjoy the day outside, away from the city, in the desert. My hair a mess? You look yeah, like a little bump. A bump? Yeah, like right there in the middle. My hair last night was insane in the tent. It was just like rubbing against the tent, so it was so much static. How did you sleep last night? Pretty good. I just want to get some sun. That's what I would love. Got a little bit of cloud coverage. Our camp over there. We took Nick's truck. Look how cool his truck looks. It was built in 98. Toyota Tacoma. That's 312,000 on it now. And it got here just fine. It's outlived many cars that are much younger. It's so cold. It's so cold. Ah. I'm doing hash browns, sausage, eggs, and spinach. It's just going to be really good, I think. I have this nice maple flavored breakfast sausage. I'm gonna use only half of that and some hash browns. It's time to get, get serious here. Let's get the gloves off. I've got the hash browns done. I just set them aside on plates. And now I'm cooking the breakfast sausage. It smells so good. And then I'm going to put the eggs right in this pan. I'm not even gonna scramble them first in a bowl because I don't wanna have an extra dish. So I'm just gonna kinda of scramble them in the pan. Breakfast is done. This looks amazing. I am so hungry. Mm. We cleaned up camp, just kind of organized our stuff, and now we're gonna go on a hike. We decided since it's still pretty cold and windy, we might as well just hike, get some exercise and get warm that way. And then hopefully this afternoon, it will kind of die down and be a little bit warmer and we can just sit and chill at camp. But that is the plan for the morning. We decided instead of hiking to rent some bikes. This was a very impulsive decision, <laughs> but we're in Kodachrome Basin State Park and we just kind of saw the bikes and we're like, let's do that. So here we are. <laughs> Look how pretty this is though. There's Nick, unable to raise his seat. These bikes are definitely not like high quality. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be rough. Look at this road. Oh, Woohoo! since I've biked but it's fun because you can just cover so much more ground and so it's cool I've hiked around here before but we're gonna go a little bit deeper than I hiked last time I was here so having fun 
starting to warm up finally. <laughs> the bikes and now we're hiking into this cave. It's called Cool Cave and it is pretty cool. We are in the cave. This is looking straight up at the sky. How cool is this light in this alcove? cave did live up to its name. It was very cool. Now we're heading back to the bikes. This little bush has been blowing in the wind and just matting down the sand. Nick got a new camera and uh, he is obsessed with it. For lunch, I am doing really easy sandwiches. So we don't have to cook anything, but I have roast beef, provolone, turkey, lettuce, avocado, tomato, red onion, pickles, and that's what we're gonna do for lunch. Just got back to the tent and there is so much sand in here. Ooh. It's so windy out. I slept for about an hour and I feel a lot better. I was so tired this afternoon. I think it's just the sun and the wind and just being outside hiking and biking and all that kind of stuff really drained me. So that was nice, but now I think I'm gonna hop out of the tent and we're gonna slowly start to get ready to make dinner. I made these energy bites at home and I'm just snacking on this before dinner. Mm. I'm gonna go see if I can lure Nick out of the tent with some of these. Oh, Nick. <gasps> He's gone. Oh no. Where did he go? I have a snack for you. <laughs> Yay! 
You can't eat food in the tent. <laughs> you have to come out. Here you go. Here's a snack. <laughs> Fed <laughs> the monster. <laughs> Come on out. It's okay. It's nice out here. <laughs> you can go out. <laughs> I have snack for you. Go on. <laughs> I'll eat it right here. <laughs> Come on. Just a little further. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> come on, come on. <laughs> uh, uh. That was a good nap, huh? It worked. He's getting out of the tent for a snack. Thank you. We've got the camp kitchen set up. I have all my ingredients out for my camper's hamburger helper. This is so good. It's definitely becoming one of my favorites. This recipe is on the blog already, so I'll link to it in the description below. So we're gonna dive in. This has beef, I have shell pasta, cheese, sour cream in this cute little container here. Spice mix that I made at home, so I'm not packing a bunch of spices or measuring things here at camp. I just did that at home, which is nice and easy. A little bit of olive oil, some diced tomatoes, and that is it. Only made in one pot. <laughs> so with this recipe, you need a can of diced tomatoes, which don't wanna forget the can opener or make sure you buy one that has the easy lid thing. Or I always have my Leatherman with me and it has a can opener on there in a pinch. So just something to think about because you don't wanna to get to camp and realize you can't open this. <laughs> time to add the pasta. To make this a one pot meal, we're gonna cook the pasta in this liquid in the sauce. And you just kind of mix it pretty frequently. And since we're not straining out the starch in the pasta, it creates a really creamy dish. So, I'm gonna put the pasta right in there. Oh God, woo! That was almost a camping disaster. Now, I know this looks wrong, but I'm just gonna try to get all that pasta down in there and bring this up to a boil. And you gotta mix frequently in order to cook, get everything to cook evenly. With this recipe, you can add more water as needed. So I just tested one and they're not quite done. We are at elevation here, so it's probably gonna take a little bit longer. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water as needed. I'm just kind of guesstimating there. You don't wanna add too much because at the end of this, at the end of cooking, you don't want it to be soupy. It's a fine line, but you can see even now it's really getting very creamy. The pasta is getting there. That's perfect. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, now to here, I'm just going to mix in some cheddar cheese, just about a handful or so. Some sour cream. There, mix all this in. That's really good. I top it with a little bit of parsley. If you wanna get fancy and just have a little pop of green on there. But I don't even think I'm gonna bother doing that tonight. I think we're just gonna eat it just like this. The 
wind has finally died down, which is, it's just so quiet. Dinner's done. I just have to clean up the pots and the bowls and stuff. We have a little bit of leftovers, which I put in here. I'm full and ready to hit the tent already, even though it is, oh my God, it's only 6.45. Okay, well, I'm gonna hang out here a little bit. I have a bar of chocolate that I'm gonna snack on, clean up, and then hit the tent. I have energy now that I ate dinner. Some frost. Good morning. It is a lot colder this morning, but I slept really well last night because it was quiet, pretty cold. So I just scrambled to get up for sunrise because it was so pretty. And now the colors are gone. <laughs> Did not get up early enough. <sighs> we are finally getting some sun. It has been a very cold, cloudy morning. But now that we have some sun, I'm gonna make breakfast. And I was gonna do the same thing I did yesterday morning, but I woke up really craving some pancakes. So I'm gonna do pancakes and eggs instead. And I have some blueberries that are barely hanging in there. So I'm gonna to try to salvage those, make some blueberry pancakes. Can you tell that I'm a knitter? I got just knitted stuff galore right now, but it's keeping me warm. This is one of my go-to breakfasts. Protein pancakes, some eggs, it all cooks in one cast iron pan. It tastes amazing and it's a go-to for us. We are getting ready to pack up this camp and then we're going to go to a different area to camp. And I wanted to quickly update you on this sweater before I go because, uh oh, my coffee cup is sliding. <laughs> so I wanted to update you on this because if you saw this video here, I'll link to it somewhere here, but that's where I showed you I was starting to make this sweater. And so I wanted to show you the finished product. I really think it turned out pretty cool for my first attempt at designing a sweater. I'm really happy with it. I just have the detailing on the sleeves here and then all of this color work, which I think turned out really cool. I love the colors that I chose here. I'm glad I brought in the lighter ash color to really give it some contrast. And then I think overall, I would like to tweak the pattern just a little bit. And this size is probably a tad too small for me. So there's a few things that I would need to tweak, but my plan is to hopefully have patterns for sale on Ravelry one of these days. I mean, this is why I got into knitting was so I could knit these wool sweaters for camping and hiking. And eventually I just wanna have a library of my own patterns. So I am working towards that, but it's probably gonna be quite a while until I'm there because I want to get them test knit and tech edited and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, for my first attempt, I'm really, really happy with this. And I just wanted to update you guys before we left. I enjoyed reading all the comments on 
that other video of all of the knitters that watch this channel it's so cool that there's quite a big knitting community here so i love being able to just share this new hobby and craft as well as my love for the outdoors and camping so i'm gonna go help nick pack up and uh, we're gonna hit the road a new campsite so tomorrow morning we're planning to wake up early and go do a hike and we wanted to be a little bit closer to that trailhead so that we don't have to drive an hour in the morning so we found a new dispersed camp spot set up the tent there it is and yeah that's kind of all we've been doing just hanging out got the sleeping pads in there so far getting ready for dinner so this is the coleslaw that I made just a couple hours ago I just mixed everything in here so that it could marinate for a little while I have some barbecue sauce that I brought from home and all of this leftover pulled pork which I'm just going to cook in this cast iron pan so it's gonna be a really easy dinner and then the tents way over there Sun is just setting and it's gotten really quiet there's no wind look at how cool those clouds are those clouds right there is just rising and we've got some coffee being made we are starting the hike it's nice and sandy <laughs> look at these views it's getting hot fast but this trail has been really fun because there's not actually really much of a trail. This does require some route finding skills because it's mostly hiking on slick rock, but it's really fun. feels like another planet out here <laughs> and I just love it. I love hiking on slick rock through this landscape. It's just so crazy. <laughs> Hey, this is so cool. I think we're getting close. Woo. Just climbed up that hill. I think we're here. I just noticed it. Oh my gosh. This is huge. This is bizarre. For scale, I mean, you can see how tiny Nick looks compared to this. 
Look at this tree just growing out of all of this rock. Look at the roots. How cool is that? Snack time. So this is stuff that I brought, a couple apples, jerky sticks, normal bars and salts. We're gonna have a snack with this view. We lugged a rope all the way up here because as I was researching this hike, I read that there was an anchor point and a rope and some steps and you could go down into it. And I thought, well, I'd rather use my own rope than some random rope. <laughs> so we brought the rope, but after getting here, the anchor point is actually broken. And honestly, I don't feel the need to go down in there. It is so pristine there's no footprints and i just love the way that the wind has kind of created those waves in the sand it just looks so beautiful so i yeah i'm very happy to not even go down there the sand just looks so cool <laughs> with no footprints back at the truck that was about eight miles of hiking and I am pretty tired. I am ready for lunch, just hiking in the sand and then the slick rock was just so much up and then down, up and down. So it's kind of just harder on the ankles too because you're hiking on a slant, but overall so much fun and it's about 12.30. So we're gonna head back to camp and have some lunch. salt packet. There is almost nothing better than a sandwich, a really good sandwich after a long hike. And that's what I'm making. Same thing I made the other day, just still have a bunch of that turkey, roast beef, and all of the toppings. And I'm so excited about this. At the end of the hike, salt water and a sandwich is really all I can think about. Mm. We are going to take a little nap in the tent before we pack things up and head back to the city. Nick has a meeting at the end of the week. And normally I would like a little bit more downtime at camp, but it was so cold and windy a lot of this trip that it was just nice to keep moving with some hikes. So overall, a really fun, adventurous few days. But if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button for tons more camping content, tons of camping food ideas on the channel. If you're new here, check out some of these other videos over here and I'll see you in the next one. How long do you want me to give you to nap? How long do you need before we head home? Shouldn't be more than like four or five hours.